Hey, we're working on a 2008 um, Toyota RAV4. Oh, thank you. Toyota RAV4. Now, you see how long the axle is? Let me show you here. Just right there. See the bearing right there? There's a piece that has to be pressed around the bearing. And it's held in by a snap ring. You can't see the snap ring, but you can't see it from in there either. Now, unless you take out the whole piece. There's two reverse 14s that hold it on here. And a set pin that holds it into, into place. And it's really in there. So, make a long story short, we're trying to figure out how we couldn't press it. It wouldn't press out. And uh, unnoticeably, on the other side, where there's like no room where the axle meets this part, there's a snap ring hidden in there. I, mean, I really didn't see it. I mean, I should have known, but we're actually about to press it out right now. Hold the bottom leg. No, hold the bottom, please. I don't want it to fall. Ready? Hold on. Stop yeah. holding on it now. Right, it's going to drop, so be careful. Put the same one back up. Press that case over the bearing. Almost there. That should be it, right? No. More. Oh, and face. that's it right there. Okay? Yeah. Now hold on. It yeah. didn't hit me. Okay, good. Now, see how this is. Oh, don't lose that snap ring. Come on. Right inside this part of the area, there's a snap ring. Right here. And it's on the inner part of the axle. Did not even see it. I mean, it, it looked like you just unbolted this part of it, but you don't. There's actually a snap ring hidden. It's really tricky to get to. You have to push down one side, get what we call a scribe, and put it behind it, and pull it on out. So, with that being said, just want to show you people out there that are watching on YouTube. And you're trying to do a 2009 because it's different than a 2008 um, I looked up a 2008 and the 2008 has more of a bracket stuff put on there at the same time but this snap ring is hidden right behind in here and there's no way to get it from inside the car in there you have to take the whole thing apart at one time so just want to put that out there real quick 2009 RAV4 it's uh, two 14 volts hold this bracket inside the carrier bearing area then we have what, 17s hold the uh, ball joint? Yes. Two, 317s hold the ball joint. There's also a special uh, socket that you need for Toyotas to take them off. And this little socket right here cost me 100 bucks. But you see how it's like rounded in there? No socket will fit this nut that's on here. But the replacement one, they give you a regular nut. Got that snap ring? All right. All right, just want to make a quick, this was a kind of a how-to video, but again, 317 volts, right, for the for the ball joint. That special nut, if you're working on a Toyota, you need that special socket. And uh, the two 14s are reverse bolts that go in. Take it out, slip it out, get that little snap ring off there, and then reverse procedure. 